What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Angel. And welcome back to Angel's Life. If you would like to see how I achieve this crochet wig slash sewing slash whatever, stay tuned. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Angel, and I know I am looking like all types of fucking crazy right now, but um, I'm actually braiding, like making little braids in my hair. In case you do not know, my natural hair, I have a twa, which is a teeny weeny afro or TWA. Why do I call it a twa? It's a TWA. I have a TWA, it's a teeny weeny afro. And I want to like kind of like low key recreate a look that I've done before. Like kind of, I'll insert a picture of it somewhere. <laughs> but um, it's this afro look, and usually that look was created with a wig. Usually I would just rock a wig, but it's been windy out here in Japan. It's been windy out here in the Tokyo. Okay. And it's been a little too windy, too windy for me to just, um, you know, slide a little wig on my head. I'm going to need some reinforcements. And since I don't use a dome cap when I'm doing it, and I don't want to be putting glue down. Like, I'm, like, even when I wear my wigs, I really don't use glue that often because that shit kind of, like, messes up your edges. And it just, I don't know, the glue... The glue does a lot, so I try to use it as, like, less as possible. So, um, I'm like, I'm going to need some reinforcements so that my wig don't blow off with this, you know, this new found Tokyo wig. So, um, <laughs> so I'm actually going to show y'all, and this is the same method that I do all my crochet braids with. I just do a different pattern, but I'm going to show y'all what I do to get a uh, crochet braids in my hair so as y'all can see i've kind of done some of it and it's just basically individual braids and what i do is take them and rubber band them so they're connected as if it's one single braid usually i do them to the back because i normally have like a middle part here with my crochet braids but since i'm doing like an afro i decided not to um i decided not to do a middle part and i'm gonna kind of do a circle situation now i actually am going to put the crochet braid on top because in the back I don't know if y'all can see, but in the back, my hair is too short to actually braid in the back. Y'all, I look crazy as fuck. It's insane how crazy I look, but it's okay, because when it's all said and done, I'm going to be beautiful. <laughs> but um, this is what I'm using, mind y'all, and everything that I have, this is stuff that I've already had. So this is the pack of hair that I'm using. My mom sent me this to make the wig, but like I said, I'm doing this, I'm doing it this way for reinforcement purposes. But this is the 12 inch Havana pre-twist 100% cankle on hair. Usually, now let me let y'all know, usually I actually don't use this type of hair. Usually I would use um 24 inches and not 12 inches. And this is my first time using the 12 inch hair and what color is this? This is color 33. So we're gonna see how that works out. So I have four packs of this hair. Hopefully that works. I have some leftover Marley hair that I, I'm not sure how long I've had this year. I probably had this hair for years at this point. But I'm gonna use this leftover Marley hair and I'm just gonna pull it out and I'm gonna cut it into four so that I can optimize the hair. <clears throat> Get some water. But yeah, I um cut the hair in four so that I can optimize the hair. 
and then this is the weaving cap that I'm actually going to put on top of the braids. Now, the reason that I have not started connecting the braids yet is because apparently I took all my rubber bands. I have like tons and tons and tons of little black rubber bands, but apparently I took them all to the shop. So I have none here with me right now. They are all at the shop and the shop is not open yet. I don't feel like calling the guys and ask them to open the shop up early. I don't even know if I'm going to the shop today. So I'm damn sure not about to call them and tell them. <laughs> call them and tell them to open up the shop so I can get my rubber bands. So uh, I'm going to wait until the BX opens. And then I'm going to go run and get rubber bands. So I can start connecting them so that they're out of the way. But nonetheless, I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Y'all know how to braid, so I'm pretty much just showing y'all how to braid right now. It don't matter if the sections aren't perfect. It's not like you're going to see anything. You're going to be looking real, you know, alfalfa, little rascal-ish. But like I said, it's okay. So, where am I at? Let me get my mirror. <laughs> so, going to section off the little piece of hair. And like I said, your parts don't have to be perfect. Like at some point, when I'm doing, when I'm doing like middle part crochet braids, I do make sure that my parts are a little bit more organized. Well, not necessarily all of them, just definitely the one in the middle because that you'll see that part. With this, you won't see any parts, but I'll definitely make sure it's straight and organized and it looks good. FYI, I am recording today's video with my ring light so you y'all know y'all see the brightness y'all see my face looking real real like we need some work but don't worry we're gonna work on her so we just gonna take the section and i could you know i always could like connect instead of using rubber bands i always could like connect them with the braids itself but I guess I don't really feel like doing that. But you could always do it that way as well. And we're just going to braid it. Braid it as tight as you can so that the braids don't slip. Because, I mean, when you have short hair like this, that's only so much that you can do. And my hair is still a little too short all around to actually do, like, cornrows. So if you have a twire but you still want crochet braids and you still want to be able to, like, do styles like this with your hair <clears throat> this is a really good alternative you're gonna be looking crazy for a little while but no worries <laughs> so and i'm so sorry y'all i'm y'all know i'm like re-getting used to the setup so if i'm looking over here it's because the monitor is over here and i'm looking at the time so y'all be patient with me it's a new setup. I'm trying to get used to it. My hands are yellow. Because I had on a turmeric mask last night. Trying to get this skin together, you know. But, yeah. So, and like I said, we're going to, once you braid it, you're going to put the rubber band here. And I'm actually going to show y'all this part as well. Once I get the rubber bands, we're just going to rubber band them all around like that in a circle i'm kind of being lazy so i don't know if i'm gonna do the immediate center here but um i'll see i guess it depends on like what time everything happened y'all i look so fucking crazy i cannot get over how crazy i look but anyway i'm gonna show y'all one more time we're gonna go over to this next one make another little part Comb it out just a little bit. And y'all know I always twist the area that I'm going to braid just so that I can see it. And I'm going to pull a piece of Marley hair out. And I'm going to cut it in half. You're also going to need scissors, y'all. Cut it in half there. And then I'm going to cut the half in half one more time. And then I'm going to take my piece of hair that I have rolled up and I'm going to start braiding. Yep, 
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that is it. So I'm actually going to finish the rest off camera because I was like in here watching Braxton Family Values while I did my hair. <laughs> Plus I get the gist of what's happening. But I'm going to finish the rest of the braiding on camera. I'm going to run and get the rubber bands and then I will come back and we will start rubber banding so that we can start crocheting the hair on. So I'll see y'all later. Well, I'll see y'all in a few. The level of craziness is just too real. I'll see y'all in a few. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm back. And I'm looking just a little bit less crazy. But I got the rubber bands. And as y'all can see, I've already started connecting them. So as y'all can see, this whole top part hasn't been done. And it's not going to be done because I just don't feel like doing it right now. So these are two plaits, like two braids. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this braid. And we're going to connect it to this braid. Like hold it like this. And then we're going to use the rubber band and we're going to put them, oh crap, <laughs> and then we're going to rubber band them together so now they are making like a straight line. And we're just going to wrap the rubber band a couple times, that should be enough, and then boom, it's together and it's corn rolled-esque. <laughs> Next, we're going to do it one more time. Last braid. The ones that are together. And then we're going to take the rubber band. And we're going to pull them together like this. Okay, and then we just have that left. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tuck that underneath one of the braids. And now we have like this whole area corn rolled. Then I'm going to take my weaving cap. And I'm going to put it over my head. Now, if you have extra room at the top like this, it's okay because when we're crocheting, when I'm crocheting, I'm going to kind of like pull that like this, you know, it's going to be pulled like this. So it won't even matter. So I just realized that all my crochet needles are indeed at the shop as well. So I am going to use a bobby pin. Okay. So. I'll be right back. I have a bobby pin here, but I'll be right back. Give me one second. All right, y'all, I'm back. I just um, threw some baby hairs down real quick and put my earrings in because after I put the hair in, I'm assuming it's going to be a little complicated to put my earrings in. So I'm going to grab my first pack of hair. And it is... It's this like pretty burgundy-ish color. You know what's funny? I didn't, I wasn't expecting this color. Like I could see it in the pack, but I thought it had like a, a black hue to it. And it does not. So that's cool though, you know. 
just what I thought. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put it here. And I am going to actually unravel the hair. You know, there's a there's a better way to do this. Just, you know, pull it from like the middle and just pull it apart like this. Swing it like that. This seems like it's going to be kind of long. Okay, but I'm actually going to leave it the length that it is. And yeah, I feel like this this is long though. I'm not even I'm not even going to lie. I don't know if I necessarily like want it to be this long or what. All right. What what will we doing? If I cut it in half, it'll be about right here to also make it a lot fuller this one i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut one piece right and i'm gonna just see how i like it my scissors are broke y'all see that my these poor scissors they don't hold on let me see if you can use it this way no we ain't <laughs> there he is yeah. can you reach me some scissors all my other stuff is at the shop so I gotta work with what I can, y'all. Hold on. Can you reach me some scissors? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, obviously not that long. Okay. Darius got me the scissors. I'm gonna cut this, and we're just gonna see how it goes. So, since I'm using a bobby pin, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bobby pin and open it up. I'm gonna place the hair in the middle. This might be too short. I might save these for the front when I'm making the bang. Yeah, I'm going to save these for the front while I'm making the bang. And then I am going to, I guess I'm going to just rock with it at the length that it is. And we're going to see, we're just going to see, you know. Here I go, fucking it up again. <laughs> this should, this is the easy part, y'all, that I'm obviously making more complicated. So anyway, take the bobby pin, open it up like this. Kind of want it even. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like wrap it around a little bit like this. So that the tip is covered. And then I'm going to take some of the net gather it up a little bit okay it didn't work that time that this is the sucky part about using a bobby pin sometimes you don't get it in there sometimes you do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap it twice and then pull it through then i pull my bobby pin off And then pull and then bam you have the crochet in so yeah the length doesn't seem bad it's not a lot of hair which is fine because I don't want it to be like super duper heavy but at the same time I do want it to be full so I might like gap it up a little but um I'm gonna stop talking and I'm going to just proceed on with what I got going on. Are you?
flourishing. And I'm happy for that. Amen. What's up, y'all? It is the next day. It is y'all can see. I'm finished, finished, finished. All right, let me stop. But um, I am finished doing my hair, and I absolutely love it. I think it's um. It's exactly how it was before, just a different color, and I love this color. It this color, you wanna know? It's funny. I had the other hair in the fall, and this is probably like the perfect fall color. Although I'ma rock it a little bit in the spring, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little rosebud, rosebud. But uh, my mic ain't on, y'all. Excuse me, my mic was on. Hallelujah. So um. Yeah, I am I am really really happy with the way that it turned out. I think it's big, it's extra, and it's gorgeous and I love it. And um I'll probably keep it in for maybe about a month. So yeah, this is the final product. You guys tell me what y'all think, you know. I did a little simple this is actually my everyday go-to like makeup look that I have on right now. And it matches so perfectly with this hair. Like, this is probably, like, the color... Aw. Oh, boo. This is, <laughs> this is probably the color that my hair should be in, like, real life. Because, you know, this look, I'm just... You know. It's just fun in the sun. <laughs> but, um, as y'all can tell, I really do like the hair. I don't keep nothing too long so like I said I plan I would like to keep it a month to feel like I've gotten my money's worth my $5.99 per pack worth but um at the very least two weeks because it'll be at least two weeks before I can get some more hair so you know <laughs> but um not just that I want to really like let my hair grow so the way to maintain this hair is I don't know I'm not the fucking person to tell you how to maintain the hair I don't know I didn't even sleep with a scarf on last night to be completely honest with y'all like this is literally how it was when I woke up and eventually I do want to say this I almost ran out of hair and y'all know there is no beauty supply store for me to go get more. So I started separating the hair. Not cutting it, but just separating it so I can use more, more pieces. So most of this at the top is separated hair. Whereas the bottom pieces are like the full pieces. You know what I'm saying? Versus like the separated pieces. And it actually worked out for me in the long run. Because I like the like dimensions that the fro has. 
but besides that y'all i don't have anything else i will be back with to y'all later on because i do have some mail and i do have something else to talk to y'all about but um I don't know if y'all gonna get that later on, but I do got some mail for y'all. We about to crack open some more shit, okay? And the mail we've been cracking open been good mail, bitch. So you know we got some good shit coming. But um, besides that, thank y'all so much for watching my videos. Um, make sure y'all comment, subscribe, and like all my motherfucking videos, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.